Bonner boy don't go collect stadium when passing power. Empty seats everywhere. And the video I'm currently watching here, of course, you can see empty seats are everywhere. Let me be honest. Empty seats are everywhere. Let me just be honest. Although I'm still going to support Bonner boy. Honestly, I'm going to support because I have my own personal reaction to this, to this particular dragging. So Twitter users are currently dragging Border Boy. Or should I call it David O and uh, Whiskey fans are currently dragging Border Boy for failing to sell out his first his first stadium appear stadium appearance since when he announced his, his, his tour date. This is his first uh, uh performance and he's failed to sell out the BMO stadium in California. And this stadium is supposed to hold 22,000 capacity. I don't know uh, because it's originally for games. But I think if you are hosting a music feast festival, I think it's going to hold more than 22,000 capacity. And honestly, Bernard Boy wasn't able to sell out that stadium. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. Bonaboy wasn't able to sell out that stadium for 22,000 capacity. So I'm just going to read some few comments coming from uh, fans who were dragging Bonaboy yesterday over the failure to sell out that uh, uh, that stadium. Someone says, see as Bonaboy sold that show empty. Then another person said, then another person said, Bonner Boy knew his BMO Stadium concert was a big flop. So he came online yesterday to try to gaslight bloggers from not posting about this disgrace. His fans said he was cooking. First away the guy. <laughs> well, you know, yesterday Bonner Boy was trying to gaslight a lot of things. So coming out to drag some bloggers. Like what he said here, he said, Alpha, all this is that blog, Pulse Ninja ETC. I beg, make all of you now do meeting, then decide how much I will give all of you now. Make you now forget my name totally. I know, say, I never pay any of you now money before, so I say, make I just run and finally I greet you now, bros. That was coming from Bonaboy yesterday, and Bonaboy name was trending, you know, try yesterday. Just maybe he was trying to get the attention of the media away from this show. And honestly, that show wasn't a flop. If the stadium is hosting, can hold the capacity of 22,000, the, the number of persons I can see in that stadium are more than 10,000. They are more than 10,000 or even close to 15,000. If you can bring in 15,000 persons in a 22,000 capacity, I think it's also a win. I think it can be regarded as a real sold out, not sold out or a real packed stadium. Because you do not expect artists to always sell out stadium. You did say easy to sell out stadium or sell out any arena. If it's, I think it's so close to like 80% of the capacity of that stadium. So it's also a win for him. It's still gonna make money. It's still gonna make money, but not up to the money of twenty-two thousand capacity. But it's still going to make money. It's not running at lost. If it's running at lost, then eh, it's go he, he, if if it was running at lost, he would have cancelled that show and give some excuses about it's going to set another date or maybe uh, technical issues or maybe some other issues. That is how these artists usually do. If they cannot sell out. A particular arena they start giving excuses just not to come to that place to perform because they will run at lost if they perform at that place they will run at lost so for me bona boy still remains the best performing act in nigeria currently i'm going to argue that one with anybody when it comes to the comes to the settings and everything how it performs I'm going to give it to Bonner Boy. I've always said that before, so I'm still going to give it to Bonner Boy. But however, 
someone, someone yesterday at that venue, at that venue, had another experience when it comes to Bonner Boy performance. He said, had my worst experience at a Bonner Boy show last night. Not only was there little to no crowd, but his performance was very awful and the crowd there where was boring. Definitely not attending a Bonner Boy show ever again. Charman, you were not a true fan. You were there. You were supposed to be watching Bonner Boy and enjoying the performance, not to check around to know if there were people there or not. But this show is a flop, man. It's, <laughs> sorry, sorry. Okay. But this show is almost a flop because the video I'm seeing here, more than half capacity was in field. What was happening? What happened to Bonner Boy now? And again, and again, uh, in this life, uh, you have to push yourself. Push yourself. Do not get comfortable where you are. Although you guys might laugh at Bonaboy, but me, I'm not laughing at him. Because I believe you have to push yourself in this life. If you have done O2 Arena severally, why not move further to other arenas? Why not move further to other stadium? Move further to bigger stadium. Compete with yourself. Because if you are just because uh, I believe Bonaboy was the one that actually kind of like decided to break out from that O2 Arena saga. We had O2 Arena uh, uh, syndrome as at when Whiskey David o, Whiskey was doing O2 Arena. You know, O2 Arena was everywhere. You don't do O2 Arena. But when Bonaboy started selling our shows, <laughs> we were talking about uh, Wembley Stadium. 60 something thousand capacity. This is United States of America. If it was, if it was UK, Bonaboy would have easily sold it out. We are talking about United States of America. We are, you know, we are kind of like penetrating the market. So, they are Bonaboy now the one paving it. They are paving the way now, penetrating the market of United States of America. So, do not expect him to be. 100% successful because you feel like Bono Boy can't be able to sell out any stadium. No, 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 no. He's still going to have some setback. He's still going to have some setback. So for me, I think the show wasn't a flop. The show was great. I can see more than 10,000 capacity there. I can see more than 10,000 capacity. So they are still going to make money even if they run at lost. Even if, even if they run at loss, it's not everything that you must gain. You must lose some, win some, but just make sure the winning is way more than the gain. And Bono Boy has been gaining a lot. So only this one being a flop absolutely means nothing to Bono Boy. And uh, you shouldn't even think about it because we already know Bono Boy have sold out so many shows in USA also. MSG is sold it out alone, alone, single ardently single handedly sold that MSG. So there is nothing absolutely nothing wrong about that. So the show wasn't a flop. Despite you guys were saying it's a flop, all this, all this. Me, for me, that show wasn't a flop. That show was great. And the Bona Boy sold it half and quarter. Sold it 80% or 70%. And that is also great as well. I like the way he's pushing himself, pushing the boundaries. Uh, and it's still perform anyway. So there's nothing absolutely nothing wrong. There's there's no flop on this one at all. Then guess what? I want to ask Bonner Boy a question. So after buying seven expensive bag, seven expensive bag for Jada Kingdom. So these two celebrities still broke up. The Kingdom is currently dating a Mega the Stallion ex boyfriend, and uh, uh, their pictures are everywhere. <laughs> Someone said Paddy cheated on Mega the Stallion with Jada Kingdom. Is that true? Is that true? Body Jada Kingdom get asshole. 
let us be completely honest. Man, no one that Bona boy go run buy seven, seven bags, seven expensive bags, minimum of fifteen thousand dollars each per bag. And he 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 even sang with it just in case you think I am lying about it. Go and listen to the song uh, Taliban. He sang about it how he bought one. He said he was buying too much. Then he decided to buy six more, make it seven. And the old the diamond chain he bought for he bought for us. So man, these women they are actually gaining a lot. Actually gaining a lot. Just for pum pum, you're gonna spend close to two hundred thousand US dollars on the girl. Chai. Chai. Well, she's currently with uh Mega the Stallion ex boyfriend. So big up to them both. Then let's talk about uh check out this video again from uh Kids Daniel Manager. So Kids Daniel was performing recently at an event. And uh, the manager was all just like he robbed the guy like this. He, he, he doesn't want anybody to come closer. This is a private performance, chairman. Let him perform. You understand? It wasn't a concert. It was a private performance at a wedding party or at a yeah. This one looks like a wedding party. So let him perform. Leave him alone. He's getting a lot of uh. Uh, a lot of uh, audiences uh, recently. Popularity after Kiss Daniel dropped that um, music video and comedians are using it. There's another way of making money for himself, you know. There's another way of making little little money for himself, which is good though. But it's too it's it's too much around around the uh, Kiss Daniel. Allow him to breathe. Lying to breathe, but that's his job, though. He must, he must, he must very must safeguard, safeguard the engine room. And Kiss Daniel is the engine room. So, guys, uh, let me know exactly how you feel about what we discuss, and most especially again, what we uh, talk about uh, the Bonner Boy show if it's a flop or not. For me, Bonner Boy show wasn't a flop, you know. Wasn't a flop. That's Bonner Boy Odogu. Or do you think David O would have done a better job? Or let me say Whiskey would have done the better the better job. Or Asake Orema. Do you think Asake can sell out that show? Sell out that uh, stadium? Do you think Asake can sell out that stadium? Rema is uh, still trying to sell out O2 Arena. I don't know if if he have sold it out yet. He's still trying to sell out O2 Arena. So you think Asake can sell out that stadium? I don't think so, guys. I don't think so. If uh, okay, I don't think so because Bona Boy, <laughs> Bona Boy is well popping than Asake when it comes to the United States of America. Let us be honest with that. Bono Boy is number one now. Forget about side talk. Bono Boy currently is number one when it comes to music. Currently, it's number one. It's like uh, the Drake of uh, Hollywood. That's what Bono Boy is currently. Because any song, any song you decide to be featured in, uh, all those songs are to be good. 